Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike here. Thanks so much for tuning into another video. In this one, I want to talk to you guys about a program that I recently found for my computer that has dramatically improved my file organization and workflow when it comes to working with photographs. And I'm so excited to share with you. I know I'm probably not the first person to have discovered this. I'm honestly probably kind of late to the game at this point, but I found it a couple days ago and it really kind of changed changed everything for me. So what it is, it's a program that is a batch file renaming program. And the program itself is called Advanced Renamer. Now there's a program like this that comes built into the Mac operating system. So if you have a Mac, um, I have a MacBook Pro laptop that I use when I travel. There's a program on there called Automator and you can basically do the same exact thing with, with Automator that I'm gonna show you in this video today. But Windows doesn't really come with a program built in, at least not that I know of, that is built for doing large batch file renaming. So if you've ever gone on a trip and you come back and you realize, oh my gosh, I've got all these photos. You probably have a, a few hundred photographs from your trip. You take your SD card, you put it in your computer and you just dump it on a hard drive and they're just named whatever they're named, right? Well, what happens when you want to find that later? That's kind of what happened to me the other day. I was trying to find something. I didn't know where it was and I decided, nope, <laughs> no more. This problem will not happen to me anymore. This is frustrating. It's a waste of my time. I'm going to fix this right now. And that's what I did. So I found this program called Advanced Renamer and I'll put a link to that down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. But essentially what this does is it enables you to completely rename the entire batch, whatever you select of photographs from the first one to the last one. So we're gonna jump into the computer right now. I'm gonna show you guys how it works with some of my photos and I'm gonna show you like what it can do for you and how it can completely change your workflow so that you never lose a photo again. And even if you haven't lost it, maybe you just don't know where it is and you don't know what to search to find it. This is gonna make sure and enable that you know exactly what to search so you can find photos at a moment's notice. Okay, so here we are on my desktop. I've got a folder here called Rocky Mountain National Park. It's just a shortcut folder that's gonna take me to the hard drive that these are stored on. So if I open these up, you guys can see that there's a bunch of photos here. There's actually 289 items in this folder. And these were all taken. I took all these photos at Rocky Mountain National Park when I went and visited there back in June. So if you guys want to see some uh, some footage and videos and stuff from that trip, make sure you subscribe. I will be making a video or two from my trip to Rocky Mountain National Park. And I'll probably be posting a couple of these on Instagram as well, depending on how some of them turn out. So if you guys want to see those, make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. Link to that is down below in the description. So. At first glance here, there's just a bunch of photos, right? They're all named weird stuff. It's like underscore MG underscore 1515.cr2. .cr2 is basically just the Canon RAW file. But theoretically, you should be able to find all these photos easily if they're in the proper folder. But there's, there's a better way. So we're gonna do that by using a program called Advanced Renamer. So I'm gonna boot that up now. So here's the program. It's pretty straightforward, but I wanted to make a video just to show you guys exactly how it worked because sometimes when you open up a program, you're like, I don't know what to do. What do all these buttons mean? I'm gonna show you guys how to do this very quickly. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab all of the photos from the file that you wanna rename. So I'm gonna uh, hit Control A to select all of these. And then I'm just gonna drag these over into this window over here. As you can see, all the files are now in this, this window and it's got the file name. This box here is gonna show us what the new file name is gonna be after we rename it. And then, you know, where that those photos and files are located or whatever. And we've got starting from 1482 all the way down to 1834. Basically what you do is you drag them into this box, like I said, and then over here is where you're, you're gonna create your new name. So if this window is not open, you're just gonna click this button down here called new name. And it's gonna bring this box up here and there's a bunch of different options and things that you can choose. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna show you guys exactly what I do. And that is pretty much just using incrementing numbers here. And that's gonna take my files from one all the way to however many that I have. So what I like to do, and you can devise your own system with this, honestly, this, this part is customizable, but I'll show you guys kind of what I do and how it helps me. So the first thing I'm gonna put on this line is the model of camera that I shot these photos with. So for me, that's the Canon 80D. And as soon as I start typing in here, you're gonna see everything go red. And the reason it's going red is be, it's not bad. It's just letting you know that there's there's not a differentiating name for each one of these. It, it, it doesn't want to, nor can it rename all of these files add.cr2. That just doesn't make sense. So don't worry about the red for right now, but 
that's just gonna happen when you first start. So I do ADD and then I put an underscore and then I'm gonna say where just in general these photos were taken. So a place. Uh, for me, I went to Rocky Mountain National Park, which is right near Denver, Colorado, uh, on a trip that I went to Denver. So it was for me, if I want to search these as Denver photos, I am going to put Denver in the name here. That way, when I'm searching for a specific file or something later, I can just search Denver and it should take me to these as well as a bunch of the other photos that I took in Denver, but now I've already sort of narrowed it down. So you're gonna be kind of like narrowing things down here as you go. So then from there, I mean, honestly, I would probably just put uh, Rocky Mountain National Park. And I know that I can just put that because I was only there for one day. If you're, if, if for example, you were at Rocky Mountain National Park or wherever for multiple days and you wanted to distinguish your different folders or your different files within those folders and you wanted to break them up by day, then let's say you had day one, two, and three, you would first drag in all of days one photos into this box and then you could label it something like we have here and then just put like day one um, and then batch reorganize those and then drop your day two folder or yeah, your day two files in and then you'd put day two um, and day three and so on. That way maybe you can differentiate that way if you want. But for me, this trip, I was just at Rocky Mountain National Park for one day. Then what I like to do at the, the back end of my files is I'm gonna put another underscore and I'm gonna write photo. That way I know if I see this file name somewhere in my computer that it is a photo. Chances are I'll see the file extension and know that it's a photo, but sometimes it's nice just to have it in the, the actual file name itself. Then I'm gonna put a, a hyphen and then I'm gonna click this button right here that says incrementing numbers. So I'm gonna click that. And now as soon as I've clicked that, all these, fi all these file names over here are no longer red. And you can see that it's labeling them as what we named it. And then 001, 002. And basically what this means when you do this is that it says, I'm gonna start this list at 001. And that's what it does. So you can see here the example for the new file name is ADD underscore Denver underscore Rocky Mountain National Park underscore photo dash 001.cr2. And then literally all you do is you click start batch. It's gonna say, uh, make sure your renaming settings are correct before hitting the rename button. You hit start, it's gonna run, and it'll let you know uh, how many files it did, if it found any errors or not. And then you just click okay. And when you go back into your folder, you now have a really just awesome and organized folder here full of renamed, pictures from your specific trip that you took that you can now search for whenever you need to find something easily. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's really simple and it's just something that I wanted to share with you guys because I found this the other day while I was kind of going through my workflow and I thought that it would be useful for you guys to see as well. Maybe you could download it or use it and see how it can help your workflow but I just wanted to share. All right guys, so that's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it something really small and simple and easy to pick up and add to your workflow but something that for me honestly has even with just in a few days has honestly kept things way more organized for me and then you know once i reorganize these files and i import them into lightroom then you can search them in, inside lightroom even easier as well and so it just makes the whole process a lot easier and it's something that as a photographer i wanted to share with you guys as fellow photographers as well and yeah, just kind of, like I said, I don't know. I Honestly, I might be totally late to this. You might be like, yeah, Mike, duh, we already know about uh, file renaming. But if you didn't, hopefully this video helped you out. And like I said, you guys can check out the link to this program down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to hit that like button, hit the thumbs up and uh, share this video with a friend as well. And subscribe, click that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.